Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to share with you um, kind of a fun technique for using uh, sandpaper uh, with your watercolor pencils to add some texture to your paintings. So um, what I have here is a small piece of watercolor paper um, and I've taped it down to my painting board just to keep the edges neat and tidy. Um, I have um, some rough sandpaper. Uh, if you don't have sandpaper, you could also use an emery board. I'm going to be using two watercolor pencils, um, blue-gray and Venetian red. If you don't have these colors, you can always substitute with indigo and brown. Uh, those will work really well. Or you could use two of your favorite colors. Uh, I also have a container of water. Uh, I have a little spray bottle with water. Um, piece of paper towel and I have my number 10 round brush. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush and um, before I add water to the foreground of my painting um, what I've done is I've divided my paper so that the top third is the sky and the bottom two-thirds will be kind of the land and this is the part where I'm going to be adding um, the pencil using the um, piece of sandpaper. So I've just made a quick sky um, by picking up color from my pencil with a damp brush and I just have a piece of scrap paper here and you can apply it just like regular watercolor paint. You can pick up a little bit of water, uh, extra water on your brush, and you can soften the edges. Uh, that's all I did for the clouds. For the foreground, I just took a dry pencil and I just made some marks along the bottom two thirds of my page with both the Venetian red and the um, blue-gray. And now what I'll do with a wet brush, I'm going to use my brush kind of on the side and I'm going to just go from the edges inward. And I'm gonna get those colors to blend. And it's okay if some streaks don't blend, you get uh, you just get more texture, which is great. Um, you don't have to cover up every single bit of your paper either. You can leave some little white spots. That looks nice. This is just a quick little landscape just to kind of show you the, the power of watercolor pencil. And I just have along my horizon line, I just took um, my blue and I just made a thin line. Uh, and then I just went over with just the tip of my brush. And if you have any areas that are a little stubborn and you want to smooth them out, you can just scrub on your paper. Uh, as long as you're using 140 pound watercolor paper, uh, you can you can do this kind of scrubbing. Your paper will hold up to it. If you have uh, less than 140 pound watercolor paper, uh, you may find that your brush will um, pull up on the paper a little bit and cause little breaks. So I have kind of a soft looking landscape. It doesn't have a lot of contrast right at the moment. Um, before I add the, uh, the sandpaper technique, I'm going to pick up some of the red, Venetian red with my brush and just add a little color here, and maybe here, and a couple of spots that I think, you know, need more color. Um, Watercolor pencil can be very light, so having these little uh, tips and tricks in your uh, toolkit will definitely help you. 
and I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. Uh, the reason I chose these two colors is when they mix together, they kind of give you this grayish color, which looks really nice. It kind of gives a stormy look to your paintings. Okay, so while your paper is still damp, and mine is still damp, I can see it, um, I'm going to put down my brush, I'm going to take my uh, Venetian red and a piece of uh, sandpaper, and I'm going to hold it, kind of over, tilting, tilting it, holding over my paper, and I'm going to run my pencil along so that I get these little sprinkles kind of all around. Um, and the finer your sandpaper, the finer the little sprinkles, the rougher your sandpaper, the bigger. Um, it is entirely up to you which one you like. Um, this is actually um, coarse sandpaper. I think it's 60 grit, but you can use whatever you have. Um, and now, I'm just going to, with my brush, dab over some of the areas because I want to spread this color. And you see how it gives a nice concentrated color, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm also going to dab some of the water off my brush so it's a little bit drier because I want to soften this edge a little bit here. Um, another thing you can do is with your spray bottle, you can very lightly mist an area and that will cause the particles to dissolve. You can add, you can add a little bit more in the corner. I like that look, so I'm going to tempt fate. I'm going to spray over in this corner. Add some more. Just lightly touching my brush to the wet area just to get some of it to move. I, I like this where there's little fine sparkles over here. Um, so This area up here is dry, so I'm, I'm going to very lightly wet it because I want to get just a little bit of blue. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, and I want a little bit of blue down here in the corner. And I have uh, kind of a hard edge right here, which I'm not extremely happy with. So I'm going to dry off my brush, and my brush is clean and dry right now. And I'm just going to lightly go over it. I like this lighter area, I just don't like that hard line. Some lines are nice, um, but some can be distracting. Um, the, the hard edges that I have here, they help uh, create the illusion of it being a cloud edge. So um, as you work more with your um, pencils, you'll kind of get a feel for what hard edges are good and which ones could be adjusted. And I think I'm just going to add some color picked up right off my pencil. One final thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to 
darken my horizon line a little bit. I like the contrast between the horizon's edge and uh, this kind of area that's a little bit lighter, but I just want to strengthen it a little bit more. It's a little too, too soft. And there you have it, a nice way to add some texture to your paintings using sandpaper. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button. If you have any comments or have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to do in the future, um, please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.